Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Thursday, September 13th. It's the 16th week after Pentecost and week 3 in the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 60, and Acts 15, verse 1 through 11. And join me in singing verse 5 of part 2 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts. But God, your name be ever blessed, has set my spirit free, nor turned away my poor request, nor turned your heart from me. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth, let us confess our sins. Together, O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault in our thoughts and words and deeds and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, O oh God, you have cast us off. You have scattered us. Alleluia, Psalm 60. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, O oh God, you have cast us off. You have scattered us and been displeased. Take us back again. You have made the earth tremble and broken it. Repair its breaches, for it shakes. You have shown your people hardship. You have made us drink wine that dazed us. You have given a signal to those that fear you to flee from the bow, that your beloved may be delivered. Save us with your right hand and hear us. You have spoken in your holiness and said, I will rejoice. I will divide Shechem and parcel out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet, and Judah is my scepter. Moab is my washbowl, over Edom I cast my shoe. You triumph over Philistia because of me. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Will not you, O God, which had cast us off? And you, O God, which did not go out with our armies? Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of mortals. Through you we shall do valiantly, for you shall tread down our enemies. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. O oh God, you have cast us off. You have scattered us. Alleluia. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 15, beginning at verse 1. Then certain individuals came down from Judea and were teaching the brothers, Unless you are circumcised according to the custom of Moses, you cannot be saved. And after Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and debate with them, Paul and Barnabas and some of the others were appointed to go up to Jerusalem, to discuss this question with the apostles and the elders. So they were sent on their way by the church. And as they passed through both Phoenicia and Samaria, they reported the conversation of the Gentiles, the conversion of the Gentiles, and brought great joy to all the believers. When they came in to Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church and the apostles and the elders, and they reported all that God had done with them. But some believers who belonged to the sect of the Pharisees stood up and said, It is necessary for them to be circumcised and ordered to keep the law of Moses. 
The apostles and the elders met together to consider this matter, and there had been much debate. Peter stood up and said to them, My brothers, you know that in the early days God made a choice among you, that I should be the one through whom the Gentiles would hear the message of the good news and become believers. And God, who knows the human heart, testified to them by giving them the Holy Spirit, just as he did to us. And in cleansing their hearts by faith, he has made no distinction between them and us. Now, therefore, why are you putting God to the test? By placing on the neck of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear. On the contrary, we believe that we will be saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus, just as they will. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to sing. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. O God, deliver us from all danger and lead us to triumph over all that is evil and keep us always in your tender mercy. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.